now. Yeah, good on you guys. Uh, Mike Pike. Let's look, Pike, I mean, I, I've probably told your story about a hundred times, but, but tell us yourself. I mean, what prompted you to send the tape to Mike and, and, and where it's got to now? Yeah, to be honest, I really just lost my passion for rugby. Um, I think I was at the Hong Kong Sevens and I was in the race, about to go play England, and I wasn't interested. And uh, Matt, my, my friend in uh, Melbourne, had been in my ear before about the AFL thing, and, um, you know, I just thought it was now or never, I got to give it a try. Uh, if I didn't give it a try, I'd. I just regret it, and uh, with no regrets now, that's for sure. Now, you knew nothing about the game, did you? Never seen the game? No, no, not at all. I mean, maybe like two or three minutes at midnight I mean, back in Canada, but I had no clue. I had no, I had no clue besides the field. When, when I stepped on the SCG for the first time, I had no idea what I got myself into. And what and the hardest thing, what, what did you find the hardest thing in terms of when you, when you first arrived? Courageous effort to, to come to Australia and do it, but what was, the, what was the first thing you had to do? Well, I think I remember going to the fitness to Rob Spurs' office and saying, you know, Spurs, we've got six months until the season starts. Feel free to, to go to town on me. And he looked at me and said, don't worry. Don't worry about that. And then I just chased him around Centennial Park for months and months and months. And physically, that was exhausting. And then obviously the skill side of things, um, you know, just it's one thing to, to learn how to, to mark the ball uncontested in, in training. It's a whole other thing with someone up, up your clacker and pushing you under it. And just learning the patience of holding out of the contest and then, then actually going up and attacking the ball. Tell us about today. Oh, mate. Ebbs and flows for us to, to be out and then back in and then out and then back in and that goal that Nick Malczewski kicked and then Lewis Jetta. Oh, it was incredible. Incredible. And guys, generally one of the biggest stories in sport. I've, just, I've got so much respect for Mike to be able to do what he's done and, and then to play in a grand final is just an exceptional effort. Met you, spoke to your mum before. Oh, She's yeah. obviously really proud. She's Mate, fun. really enjoy yourself. It's just been an outstanding effort. So well done, Pikey. Thanks, Susie. Thanks very much. Cheers, buddy. Back to you guys. Thanks, Rosie.